Good evening, everyone. My name is Patty Bender, and welcome to tonight's webinar. This is part nine of a 10 part um, webinar series, Automating Your Online Business. And tonight we're on banner advertising. Uh, I will be covering tonight's webinar uh, by myself. My partner, Carrie Baxter, is off this evening. And uh, Carrie Baxter is in the lower left, um, pretty lady, and her website is renegademarketerpro.com and my blog is pattybender.com. Anyway, let's get started with banner advertising. We're going to cover some PowerPoint slides this evening, and then I'm going to take you in and show you a few examples of banner ads that are out there on the Internet. And you will see that there are um, banner ads just about everywhere. So what is a banner ad? It's one of the most popular forms of advertising on the Internet. Uh, banner ads are primarily used to promote other websites. They will be they will show up on websites to promote other websites. It's displayed as a box containing graphics and sometimes even animation. Another form of pay-per-click marketing. Um, so where do banner ads appear? Well, they appear just about everywhere. If you think about it, when you're surfing the net, if you think about a banner ad, you're going to start bumping into a lot that maybe you didn't even pay attention to in the past. But you'll see them in search results in the search engines. So Google, um, what was Yahoo and Bing is now Microsoft. Uh, you'll see it on social media websites, especially that's becoming really big now on social media sites, especially Facebook. And also personal websites. And we're going to give you some examples of that as well. So the types of banner ads, they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. They are actually governed by IAB, which is Internet Advertising Bureau, and the IAB governs eight different banner sizes. Uh, most people don't even know this, and it was actually news for me when I did my research on this uh, topic. Most websites govern by most websites govern banner ads um, not by physical space but by memory size, and that's primarily because of animation. Um, some banners incorporate audio as well as video. Okay, what makes a banner ad successful? Well, if someone clicks on the banner ad, and what it does is when they click on a banner ad, it takes them to the advertiser's site, and then if they opt in. So that's one form of an ad being successful. So if they do that, plus they actually buy something on the advertiser's site. That is the ultimate goal, so that's what makes a banner ad successful. So who makes banner ads. If you wanted to do a banner ad, how would you get one done? There's a lot of resources online for this. These are just three that uh, Carrie and I are familiar with. Banner, MakeYourBanner.com, ABCBanners.com, AtomicArts.com, and like I said, there's, there's quite a few others if you uh, choose to research all the places you can um, make banner ads. If you're part of an affiliate program, um, you will have banner ads actually within an affiliate program, and I'll, I'll show you some examples of that as well. So advertising with banner ads. Uh, number one, display other websites' banner ads in exchange for them displaying your ad. Uh, you can also pay a publisher site to post a banner ad. Um, you can also pay an organization to post the banner ad on a number of publisher sites. In other words, it gets um, blasted out to more than one site at a time. And the way you can do that, if you if you have a banner ad that you really want to get posted on a on a number of different publisher sites, you can go to DoubleClick.com and also Flycast.com in order to um, set that up. Okay, if you want to do banner exchange programs. Um, in other words, what happens here, and I'll explain this a little bit more in detail, but what happens here is you're exchanging um, a banner ad, your banner ad, let's say, to go on another site and then also having a banner ad placed on your website or websites. So here are just some banner exchange programs, linkexchange.com, bannerswap.com, smartclicks.com, freebanners.com, and linkbuddies.com. These are just some examples of if you decide to participate in an exchange program uh, for your banner ad. 
Okay, so what makes a banner effective? Uh, post ads on related web content. The more relevant, the better. Uh, so you, if you had a content about a home business, you would want to place it most likely on a uh, website relevant to that. You want to put your ads at the top of the page where they can be seen as someone as soon as someone goes to that website. You, you don't want them to have to scroll down to see your ad. You want to keep the message simple. Uh, animated ads are much better rather than static ads. Graphic content should pique the visitor's curiosity. And then just lastly, keep the banner ad size small because if the page is too, takes too long to load, a lot of visitors will move on to another page. And you don't want that to happen. Okay, that's it for the PowerPoint presentation. Let me just um, take you to a couple of examples that I have found where banner ads are displayed. Um, here's an example. Oh, sorry. Here is an example of a personal website. Vishal Bastia. Uh, this is Vishal's uh, blog, and on his the top of his blog, you'll be able to see an example of a banner ad that he uses for himself. So let's see, it's in the middle of doing it. Let's just wait till it gets to the beginning here. So submit your application to join Vishal's team now. Work directly with Vishal Bastia in his primary business, dot, dot, dot. Get his personal coaching. And submit your application to join Vishal's team now. So that's just a just re, just keeps repeating over and over on his personal blog. That's one example. Um, on a more popular site, Yahoo Finance. This is of course a news site, and you're going to see pop up here. Um, now this changes. When I was on here the last time, I actually saw a um, an insurance banner scrolling here. This will change. Uh, see, now it's about health care and retirement. So this changes. It's, it's based on the advertisers they have wanting this space right here on the homepage of Yahoo Finance. Right now you're seeing Merrill Lynch. Um, you know, this changes. So if I were to log off of here, and come back on, I bet we'd get it something completely different. <laughs> Let's try it again. All right, well, it might be based on a time sequence because it's still showing information on healthcare. Let's see if we go to a different tab, if it gives us anything different. Uh, probably will. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's try investing. There you go. Here's one about fidelity. Um, actually, there's one right there at the top. There you go. That's another ad. Uh, if I go back to the page I was just on, this right here at the top, a pricing structure, pricing structure only a broker could hate, smart money. That's a banner ad. So obviously they're, they're really all over the place. If you start paying attention, you're going to be like, wow, there's banner ads everywhere. Um, if we log on to Facebook.com. Since Jonathan Budd has released his um, uh, Facebook uh, 3.0 or whatever he called that, I'm not even sure. There we go. Sorry, I just need to go to my profile page. These are all banner ads. Now, they're not animated, but it's still a form of pay-per-click marketing. 
and all you would do is click on either the graphic or the hyperlink in the heading and it would take you to a website. Need more leads, get more get more calls today.com. This one down here it looks like it's a realtor. Um anyway, these are just some examples of banner advertising. Um trying to think if there's one more I can show you the um let me just take you into the directory directory of .com. let me just log in here and give you an example of some of the banner ads um, okay so we're in the directory of ezines and I just want to give you a peek at the different size um, banner ads. Bear with me, gotta enter my ClickBank. Okay, um, ba -ba 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 -ba, banners. Okay, you can see there's all different shapes and sizes here. Here's a 468 by 60. 125 by 125. This is probably the most popular size. Uh, you'll see some of these larger ones, like on Yahoo Finance, we saw what looked to be more like 250 by 250. Uh, these uh, longer ones with a shorter height tend to be right at the top, right below a website header. Um, here's down the right side column of a website typically. And, and here's some with animation. I personally like animation. It just draws the eye into it. Depends on, you know, wh where you want the eye to go. If, if this is getting placed on someone else's website, I highly recommend it. You may not want that if it's getting placed on your own website. You may want them to be drawn to the opt-in box instead. But just some examples of other banner ads and how it works. Um, so that's all I have for banner advertising. Um, hope you all enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the question box. Um, I will just give you folks a few seconds. If you have any questions, feel free to type in there now, and I'll be happy to answer any of those. Um, if anybody has any experience with placing banner ads or creating them or anything to do with banner ads you'd like to share for everybody else, I'll be happy to unmute you if you'd like to talk. Um, just raise your hand and I will go ahead and unmute you. Um, okay, thanks, Steve. I appreciate that feedback. Uh, Steve was just saying this is valuable information and he had no knowledge of banner ads. So thanks, Steve. We appreciate that. Um, thanks for being on. Does anybody have any questions? I'll be happy to take some right now if you do. Um, okay, I, I'm not seeing any questions, folks. Thanks for being on Banner Advertising. Again, this is part nine of a 10 part series. And uh, next week, we are actually covering easings. So you'll get to see a little bit more about the directory of easings in part 10. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for being on, and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.